Welcome back. In this video of Creative Real Estate Unleashed, we're gonna jump into presenting the offer, the closing call, how to negotiate the deal. We've learned the art of pre-screening, and now as we step into negotiations, remember, this is the skill that will make or break your deals. Negotiation is where the rubber meets the road. It's where the magic happens, and I'm about to reveal my secret sauce that's gotten me over 500 deals by now. It's not just about getting a lower price, it's about crafting terms that create you cash flow to achieve your dreams and align with your goals. Learn to listen to the seller actively and empathize with their needs. Present your offers with confidence and note we aren't actually presenting offers, we're just asking questions and the seller is actually making us the offer by answering our questions. These strategies can turn a simple deal into a massive game changer for you. Give this video a like and a subscribe and a quick comment as it helps with the algorithm. And my objective in celebrating 10 years of doing this stuff is to help 10,000 people change their lives and financial future. So a quick like and subscribe and comment will go a long ways. Thank you for that. Let me uh, share with you a recent success story. I negotiated a deal very recently where the seller was initially hesitant to do the payments over time, owner finance in creative terms type situation. But through strategic communication and asking the magic questions that I'm about to show you and understanding the seller's situation, we reached an agreement that was a win-win, which is always what we want. This deal will likely make me tens of thousands of dollars over time. It was a win for him. It got him out of the deal that he needed off of his plate. He was a tired landlord and it added a property into my portfolio that is a really good deal for us over time. In the next video, I'm gonna show you that actual call live where I closed that deal with nothing down, I might add. In the creative financing game, we aren't so much looking for price, we're more focused on the terms. In the description, I have my Magic Words closing call script that you can download and follow along when you're actually talking to real live sellers and it shows you exactly how to get the deal, what to ask and where to go. So here's the four main deal points I'm gonna show you. I've wrote them down over here for you and I'm gonna make a couple of notes on this. So number one is price. If we agree on everything else, Mr. or Mrs. Seller, what's the least you'll take on price? Number two, monthly payments. If we agree on everything else, what's the least? So this is what always when we're buying, it's what's the least? What's the least you'll take as a monthly payment? until I pay you off in full. When we're selling, it's what's the most. We don't buy like we sell, we don't sell like we buy. So we have to make a profit in order to make it worthwhile. The seller has to win, the buyer has to win, everybody involved has to win. Down payment, this one is where it gets tricky. We say usually, because this is the truth, usually we buy with nothing down, okay? Now, why is that so important? Because usually we buy with nothing down, okay? And if you don't ask it like that, you're not gonna be getting nothing down deals. In fact, I have people come to me often, they say, there's no nothing down deals in my area. I say, mine either, until I ask the question. What's the two things that can happen? Number one, the seller often says, if they're a motivated seller, you're the answer to their prayer, you're taking a headache, a problem off of their plate, they say, okay, well, what's the other thing they can say? Well, no, I need a down payment. You've already pre-screened them. They already said they're open to this terms conversation. Now we just gotta figure out what they need. So then our question is, what's the least you'll take? If we agree on everything else, what's the least you'll take down? Not until we've asked this question. We usually buy with nothing down, okay? And then lastly, I always assume the full length if we're taking over a debt, of what's remaining on the loan, or in the case that we uh, have a house that's free and clear, the full term of the payout, and whenever they need paid off sooner, then we're gonna ask, what's the longest you can give me to pay you off in full this full agreed price, all right? So, what's the least you'll take on price? What's the least you'll take a month? Usually we have about nothing down. If they're not okay with that, what's the least you'll take? And then what's the longest you'll give us to pay you off in full, all right? These are the four magic pieces. Our whole objective is to nail down these four and to make a win-win scenario. Now, sometimes somebody asks me, why would a seller do that? Why would they sell me their house with nothing down? And the answer is I don't know. I had some do it for debt relief, behind on payments. Some just wanna make more money over time. Others have been tired landlords, tired of dealing with the uh, properties. Some have been inherited. So I quit asking a long time ago, why? And I just make offers that could provide win-win situations that could solve the seller's problems. We offer solutions and the rest works itself out. If you ever have a challenge offering on a house, 
just go back and imagine you're flipping shoes or couches. It's all the same, it's just more zeros. In fact, my great friend Leo, he started out flipping candy when this was years ago and then moved into couches. And of course now in the last couple of years have been buying houses with me. It's the same skill, just a different number, just a different item. So look at it that way. So negotiation is an ongoing discussion and the more you practice, the better you become. Developing negotiation skills isn't just about closing deals. It's actually about having a conversation that can lead to a deal and or future opportunity. So put your negotiation hat on and dive into the real life scenarios. Get on the phone with sellers, follow the script that you've downloaded and practice these skills. Remember, negotiation is not a battle. It's just a conversation aimed at a mutually beneficial solution to sellers with challenges, for them to get what they need, for us as the investor to get what we need to buy the property, and then of course to turn into cash flow to making money over time. So get ready to unlock the door to unlimited wealth creation. Save this video so you can go back and watch it a few more times as I've delved into these four deal points and how you can negotiate deals. And this has been a whole lot packed into a short time. Rewatch it as many times as you need to. The excitement continues to grow in the next video where I'm gonna give you a behind the scenes view of an actual live deal I recently closed. You can see it live and in person, an actual house, a real seller, how I made it a win-win, and how I got the house for nothing down. The seller got what he needed, a tired landlord. I got what I needed, turning it into cash flow. Everybody is winning, which is the scenarios we like to see. So I'll see you on the next video where we're closing a deal live.